All right, guys. Um, something that I did not show anybody uh, in Tina's National Treasure Collection is the Book of the Presidents that she has. Now, this is incredibly rare. Like, I don't know how many of these are out there, but they're really, really, really rare. Um, there's the symbol of the president. You can actually see on the buttons, you can see the symbol also. And this is tied open, or tied closed, I should say, with a, a leather strap. So let's untie it and see what's inside. So um, this is one of the really coolest props from National Treasure. This is really old. I have no idea how old this is, but it's really old. Um, and you have to be really careful with it. So let's open it up. And in the inside, you've got all the different pages. And this thing is an amazing prop. Um, every single page has something on it. I'll give you an idea. This is from, um, let's see, let's find something in here from one of the presidents. Now, every president has written something in here. And from what I was told of the prop, it's so um, accurate in their fist, which is what they call their writing, their fist. Um, so let's look through here. Let's see, there's torn pages in here. Um, I'm trying to find something that might be interesting in here written by one of the presidents. Let's see here. All right, so here we go. Let's read this one. I record here the results of the investigation as to what happened the night President Lincoln was shot. Also of the events passed in recent months, President Lincoln and Mary were to attend our American cousin a play at Ford's Theater on April 14, 1865. They were to share the company of General Ulysses S. Grant, who my, uh, is my great-great-great-grandfather, um, uncle, by the way. This is Kerry. Um, I am related to Ulysses S. Grant and his wife, Julia Dent Grant, um, however, changed the plans and did not attend. The Lincolns instead invited Clara Harris and Henry Rathbone. During the play, stage actor John Wilkes Booth entered the state box somehow and detected, shot the president on the back of the head. He also stabbed Henry Rathbone in the arm as he tried to escape. Booth then jumped out of the box onto the stage, breaking his left leg, and yelled something that some reported as six semper tyrannis, thus always two tyrants. Lewis Powell, one of the many co-conspirators, attempted murder Secretary of State William Seward. Thankfully, only managed to wound him. And this is supposed to be a picture of the weapon that Booth used to shoot Lincoln in the back of the head. And what's cool about this prop is, as you can see, there's every page has something in it like every page and if we go through here as you can see there's photographs in here um it's amazing this is actually a piece of the alien ship that crashed at Nos uh, roswell new mexico um and there's actually a piece of the alien ship inside of this thing uh ts fragment so it's, it's just an amazing prop i don't know how else to say it um, you will never see this prop. Um, they are incredibly rare to find if you can find them. It even has a picture of the moon landing. And then above it, it shows all the lighting and everything else that they used to fake the moon landing picture. Um, I will do a more in-depth on this if you guys are interested in it. I can show you some of the different pages and whatnot inside of it. Anyway, I thought you'd get a big kick out of it. This is one of the finest props in our entire collection. I know lots of you guys like Alien and Predator and, and Terminator and um, Ghostbusters and all the stuff that we have. But from a prop standpoint, and especially a book prop standpoint, this is one of the finest, if not the finest in the collection and the finest I've ever seen. Due to the fact that there is um, something on every single one and all the presidents have written something in here. And like I said, they copied their fists. They copied the style of writing they did um, and the way they wrote. Uh, it's a fantastic prop. Anyway, I thought you guys would like a big kick out of it. And uh, I have never, in all the years that we've had this, we have never opened up the envelope that shows us the fragment of the spaceship from Roswell. Even though curiosity may kill us, We've never done it, so we don't even know what's in that. 
Anyway, I thought you guys would get a big kick out of this. Let me know what you think.